welcome back to another video. My name is Jessie and this is Zuko. I hope you're all doing great. I make videos three times a week so hit that subscribe button if you do want to see more videos from me and from Zuko. <laughs> so in today's video I'm going to be talking about the eight things that you need to know before you actually go ahead and get a puppy. Especially in times like this everyone's at home because of COVID and puppy demand has been super duper high recently. I've noticed that not all people know what they're getting into and I think you actually really need to do your research and understand what it's like to have a puppy, how much time you need to invest in them before you actually go and get one. So here are the eight things that I think is super important that you need to know before you go ahead and buy one. Number one, having a puppy is pretty much like having a furry little baby. I definitely don't have kids myself, but I know babies require a lot of attention. Dogs also require a lot and a lot of attention. They take a lot of your time, take a lot of your energy, especially when they're puppies and they need training. They are pretty much just like little furry children. You'll also need to buy things for them like beds, toys, food, treats, hygiene related products like toothbrushes, fur brushes, doggy bags to take them out, leashes, collars, harnesses, things like that, pooping bags, lots and lots of toys and be prepared to have your house full of doggy things, <laughs> doggy toys just everywhere. Just like babies, be prepared to lose sleep. Be prepared to train them and teach them how to go to the toilet, how to behave around the house, how to walk, how to socialize. And also be prepared to put an extra time to do normal things like cleaning, washing, and just going out in general. Point number two, you will definitely be losing sleep. So when Zuko was a puppy, he would wake up 6 a.m. on the dot. We had to set the alarm. He sometimes woke up throughout the night. You need to make sure that when he isn't fully toilet trained yet, that he doesn't pee all over the place. So basically we had to wake up at 6 a.m. exactly to kind of feed him, look after him, make sure he poops and pees correctly on the mat so he knows where to go in the future so he is potty trained and just little things like that you will definitely be losing sleep <laughs> even now sometimes he'll wake up in the middle of the night and he'll start crunching on his food and you can hear him or he needs to go to the bathroom and he's pretty much like a little child you definitely need to be ready to lose a bit of sleep <laughs> number three poodles need a lot of time and attention and care they literally follow you everywhere when I go to the bathroom, when I'm cooking, when I'm doing the laundry, when I'm collecting the mail, when I'm getting dressed, you're always there. And on top of that, you actually need to find extra time to train them as well. Just like little babies, just like little toddlers, they don't know what's going on and they need the guidance. So they need to be potty trained, they need to be trained to be socialized, they need they pretty much need a lot of time to do all sorts of training, even tricks if you want them to do tricks, as well as playtime. Puppies love playing with you. Dogs are really social animals and they want to play with you all the time. So you got to factor in things like playtime. And as I mentioned previously, you need to put away extra time to do everyday little household things because things will take longer because you have a dog with you. Another thing you actually have to factor in is money. So puppies are actually not cheap. Zuko cost $3,000. This was about 10 months ago. And I know now with the coronavirus and the lockdowns and how everyone's working from home, there's such huge demand for dogs and prices can actually range from four to six thousand dollars for a toy poodle now in Sydney and then after you get them there's other costs to consider like vet and vaccinations they have to do their vaccinations when they're young as well as dog food dog food is definitely not cheap neither are treats so you gotta keep buying them treats as well on top of that you've got hygiene things like brushes toothbrushes dental tubes instead of dental tubes we purchase Azuko this app basically this was about 13 14 dollars and he just bites on it it's edible and it kind of flosses away or scrubs away the plaque in his teeth so you gotta worry about his teeth issues puppies need a lot of toys throughout the day to keep their minds stimulated so dog toys are actually not cheap at all they are quite expensive and they go through them so 
fast so it's good to do things like maybe DIY toys I've done a video on DIY toys if you're interested I've done a video on DIY dog treats and I guess you know sometimes you need to mix it up a bit just to give them a bit of variety so they don't get bored and you also have to take into consideration things like grooming one grooming session depending on how big your dog is can cost 80 to over 100 and something dollars and you know every so often every month or two you need to keep them groomed flip their nails all that kind of stuff Zuko's due for another haircut too your hair and fluff ball Number five, definitely patience. Dogs need so much time and energy invested into them when they're puppies. So you can't expect them to learn everything straight away. Some dogs are more intelligent than others, but either way, puppies are puppies and they are clueless. They have no idea what's going on. They need you to be there to train them. And it takes a lot of patience to encourage them to do things, how to behave, even learn new tricks. You need to be quite repetitive in terms of what you're trying to ask them to do so they understand, so that requires a lot of patience and especially in times like this a lot of people are actually working from home so if you're working from home and you're trying to get a puppy but you're also trying to work it can be a little frustrating especially if you're trying to meet deadlines or if you're stressed at work you definitely need to be super patient with them and just realize that it does take time for them to learn things and they are quite slow sometimes at the beginning so that brings me on to my next point is being consistent dogs are trying to understand what you're trying to communicate with them so if you're doing different things every single time they're going to get so confused and they're not going to try and understand your words or actions or anything so you need to be super consistent if you're not the only person looking after them so i only actually look after zuko about three times a week so during that time you definitely need to communicate with the other people that are also looking after him to stick to the same command same words so that they don't get confused and it's a lot easier to train them that way and yeah you're pretty much training them how you want them to behave in the home with you so you have to be consistent like any other training you need to keep doing it and just be persistent consistent and definitely a lot of patience number seven you're gonna realize that you need to be homebound a lot when you have a puppy just until they've grown up and they know what they're doing you can't actually really leave them for long periods of time you need to be there for them they need babysitters they need family members they need someone there with them when they are a puppy so that means if you have upcoming holidays you definitely cannot leave them alone you're gonna have to miss out on some social events with your friends you just kind of need to be there and spend the time and put in the effort to train them at the start I know some people actually take time off work to train their puppies you could actually do that basically keep in mind that they are like little children and they cannot be left alone they cannot be left unsupervised when they're young as they get older you can sort of slowly gradually increase the time apart be careful because dogs develop separation anxiety and you definitely don't want that so you need to slowly train them and ease them into being by themselves and finally just remember that all dogs are actually different not two dogs are the same it's great to listen appreciate other people's feedback and advice but just remember that this is your dog your dog is different to their dog and just because one thing works for them it doesn't mean it'll work for you make sure you definitely do your own research you talk to your vets and other professionals that actually specialize in animals and specialize in your pet maybe talk to the breeder where you got your pet from maybe able to give you a better understanding of your dog myself included i actually get a lot of questions specifically related to their family and to their dogs i'm sorry i cannot answer these questions because i'm not a professional basically i am speaking just on behalf of my experience with zuko so it's great to listen and take things on board because a lot of the things are general advice but if you need anything specific or how to train your dog or what you should do with it when they're alone, you definitely need to speak to a professional. So just remember you're the parent, your dog is your little fur baby, so only you really understand what they need. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching from Zuko and I. Let me know what your experience was having with the puppy. I'd love to hear from you. Please remember to like and subscribe if you do want to see more videos from us. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye now.